drink your monster plague. Drink your fucking monster. All right. I bid you welcome, folks, to the 2019 centennial season of the National Football League. I know this video is way late. I know all of you are thinking, where's Plague? We want Plague. Where's Plague? He should be dropping a new video by now. Well, I'm here, and I'm ready to fucking rock. And the Eagles won it. Birds 32, Redskins 27. Again, that is Philadelphia Eagles 32, Washington Redskins 27. And good boy, what a game. I got good shit and I got bad shit, but this is a win. This is victory week. So let's focus on the good shit first. Carson Wentz is back. He was fucking phenomenal. Deshaun Jackson is an eagle once again. It's like this man never left. This man was fucking special special on Sunday night. This guy was a fucking stud. Sunday afternoon, I should say. But this guy was a... Because the game was at noon central time in America. But this guy was a fucking stud. I got no complaints about Deshaun Jackson. Alright? I got no complaints about Deshaun Jackson. Alright? Why the previous Eagles head coach released him from the team is beyond me. Beats the fuck out of me. He was a good. He's a good fucking player. I mean, you got between Carson Wentz throwing fucking lasers and being a fucking American sniper in the fucking pocket, and Deshaun Jackson catching the ball 30, 40 yards down the field. I mean, this is a This is a good pair. They say a quarterback. I mean. They say, yeah, the quarterback is the team. The quarterback gets the credit. The quarterback gets the shit. But, folks, you got to remember, the quarterback is only as good as his O-line. And our offense really clicked in the second half. We did a shit job in the first half. I don't know what Doug Peterson managed to say to his men. I don't know what Doug said to his guys during halftime. Damn. Whatever he said, it worked. Because we were <laughs> clicking. We, we were like a well-oiled fucking machine in the second half. Folks, we came back from a 17-point deficit. Now, it's looking like we might be a second-half team this year. I hope that's not the case. I hope we actually... Whoa. That was fucking loud. I hope we actually play all 60 minutes, because we got to play all 60 minutes. You got 60 minutes of play time. You got to play for that whole hour. I think what Doug Peterson is doing is watching how the Eagles, watching how his birds perform in the first half, giving them a pep talk, changing their strategy, and then performing, and, and then seeing if they can perform better in the second half. But folks, that's not how the plague rolls. Now, now, don't get me wrong. I shouldn't complain too hard because did we lose? Did we lose? No. Birds 32, Redskins 27. All right? And we actually played against a decent Redskins team. We'll talk about the Redskins later in the video. But what I want to get through to you guys is... Uh, Eagles players, coaching staff, if you're watching, especially. You gotta score in the first... Here's how the plague, if he was a coach, would play football. Here's how the plague would roll. Here's how the plague plays. So, you use the first half to score the big points and get a nice, delicious lead on the opposing team. Alright? Halftime rolls around, go in the locker room, take a break. Maybe I give the guys a pep talk. I don't know. Change, you know, change our game a little bit. Now the second half, when we come back out onto that gridiron, the second half, we would be using to maintain, perhaps widen our lead 
while you know you know with the offense while the defense will be trying of course to keep the opposing team keep the enemy back and keep them from scoring any more points all right that's how i would play football now i am not a football coach nor am i the foremost expert on the sport but what i can tell you is what i can tell you is That's how I would play. If I were the head coach of the Philadelphia Eagles, if, if Doug Peterson were to walk up to me and say, you know what, Plague, I'm getting too old for this shit, I'm done, you know, here's my fucking playbook, you coach the Eagles, or, you know what, Plague, I like you, you coach the Eagles for one game. Nothing like that is ever going to happen, but let's say hypothetically it did, all right? This is a hypothetical what if. We're going to play pretend for a bit and make believe I'm the head coach of the fucking Eagles. That's what I'd do. Again, we won, and that's great. It's fun when we win. I, I, love, a, I love a good victory lap around the, fucking, around the fucking YouTube. But you need to change things up a hair. You gotta play in the first. You can't just be a second half team. Remember last year's game against Carolina? Uh, Carolina's really, really sucking this year. But I get ahead of myself. Uh, remember the la remember the last year's game against Carolina, where we tried to come back but we couldn't do it. That's the risk you take if you're a second half team. You have got to play all 60 minutes. I cannot stress this enough. I literally cannot stress this enough. All right? I'm glad we won. And I think we can win next week against against the, uh, Jesus Christ, who do we, who do we, Falcons, that's the guy. I'm the guy, those are the guys. I think we can win tomorrow against the fucking Falcons. But you got to score in the first half. If you can help it, score in the first quarter. Touchdowns, field goal. I mean, granted, I'd rather get seven than granted, I'd rather get seven points than three. But you know, if possible, eight, maybe a nice two-point conversion, which we did it. We did a successful two-point conversion during last week's game, by the way, which pleased me very much. I really liked seeing that. I mean, Carson went. I mean, good God. Let me tell you. Let me. Let me. Let me. <clears throat> Let me, let me diverge for a bit to Carson Wentz. I like Carson Wentz because he's versatile, all right? He's versatile. May he stay healthy all year long. I understand he's been changing his diet, changing the way he exercises, changing a few things about himself, so he manages to do that, hopefully. Uh, maybe hopefully get us a ring. But let me talk about why I like Carson Wentz. Why do I like this guy so much? Now, I did a whole 30-minute video on Carson Wentz. Uh, so let me explain in brief. I like his versatility. All right. Not only does he throw laser, you know, laser guided missiles to his receivers, even if they're like 80 yards down the field. I know that 83 yard pass last year was courtesy of Nick Foles, uh, who got hurt and is out for the season uh, with the Jaguars. He got hurt. I wish Nick Foles a speedy recovery, not for Eagle, but because I wouldn't wish a season-ending injury on fucking Hitler. But that's beside the point. Uh, what I like about Carson Wentz is, yes, he's an assassin in the pocket. He's American fucking sniper. All right? But when the pocket collapses and he doesn't have very much time to throw or he wants to run, which he can, he did a successful quarterback sneak during last week's game, saw that with my own eyes when the when the def, when the pocket protection collapses now he's able to use his feet to get outside of the pocket all right now he's able to roll and throw or or run the ball you know roll and throw or tuck and run whatever he wants to do and that's what I like about Carson Wentz if he can do literally anything he wants, if you give this man the football, he can do anything he wants with it. He knows exactly what to do with it. He's versatile. He's fun to fucking watch. Now, I took the liberty of watching a preseason game or two. 
I decided not to do pre- or post-game videos for the preseason because it's the fucking preseason. Preseason doesn't really count. Preseason is like practice backyard football. We didn't even play Wentz this preseason, but I'll tell you who we did play. We played Thorson. Thorson, he's pretty good. I think Thorson is pretty good. Of course, I like Wentz better. I haven't seen really enough of Thorson to to uh, to uh, make a decision as, as to whether I like him. In scientific terms, I have insufficient data to arrive at a conclusion. But what I can tell you is, I like what I saw of the guy. But I like Wentz better, because I know Wentz. I know him. He's versatile. He's American sniper. He can... He can roll and throw, he can tuck and run, he can do whatever he he can do whatever he fucking wants with that football. He can quarterback sneak. And this guy didn't throw a single interception all game. That's a clap. That's a clap. I know he's not known for throwing interceptions, but he didn't throw a single interception all game. And I applaud that. That's good thing. He he can make that shows that he has good decision making skills. And, you know, that, that really speaks to why we should keep him healthy, keep him on the team. That really speaks to that shit, you know what I mean? <sighs> now I want to talk about the Redskins for a bit. I would like to be a good sport, extend my hand and say, you know what, game to the Redskins fans. Good game. You weren't the better team. You didn't win, but yeah, I think I'm going out on a limb here, kind of putting my fucking neck on the block. But you know what? I think that last week your Washington Redskins played good. I think they looked just fine. There was a little blood on the field. I think we had a couple of Redskins down, but I think they played okay. They they weren't the shitty team they were last year. You know, and I think, you know, this year, going into this year, you guys are going to be a decent Redskins team. You guys are going to be fun to watch. And when you play host to, uh, to us in uh, D.C. and try to get your revenge, uh, granted, I hope the Eagles win. you got to be loyal to the brand. But you guys performed well. I'm not going to... I'm not gonna knock you. I don't think I don't think it would be fair to call you the Deadskins this year. Cause you're very you're very much alive in all fairness. Granted, you're division rivals. But that doesn't mean I can't but that doesn't mean I can't be a good sport and say you played well. Cause you you, you did. You, you you guys played good. It was a good game. You know. I mean your fans are probably pissed that you blew a seventeen point lead. I mean, you had the fucking Eagles on the ropes, and you ju and you just no, no, we don't. You know, we don't want this game. Here, Philly, you can have it. But that's, I don't think that's what happened. I don't think you blew the lead so much as the Eagles came back from behind and won it. So that's all I've got to say about the Redskins, and that's pretty much all I've got for this video. So I'm going to go ahead and kill it here. Uh, ordinarily, I'd use bandy cam, but uh, things aren't, you know, things are kind of fucked up on uh, on uh, my computer. Uh, my fucking internet went out on my computer. I still got internet. Uh, I'm using my, I'm using my uh, uh, phone. Happens to be an Android. Using my phone to record this because <laughs> uh, things are fucked up on my PC. I need to get that fixed. I need to get my shit straight. And hopefully by the week two post game, I should have some results. If not, I'll just use my phone again. But yeah, Eagles won. Birds thirty two, Redskins twenty seven. It's it's a good. It was a good game, all the way through. I mean, I was kind of biting my nails in the first half. But what do you want? Uh, fucking nobody ever listens to me. God damn. I will see you in the next one. And well. Fly, Eagles, fly, stay Teutonic, and let's beat those Falcons. The birds will beat the dirty birds, hopefully. I don't want to jinx anything. So fly, Eagles, fly, stay Teutonic, and I will see you in the next one.